Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Yevgeny Boguslavsky and Zinu Wing. This is a game from Budapest tournament, played in 2012. Yevgeny Boguslavsky had white pieces and he started with d4. Zinu Wang played d5. Knight to c3. c4 is the most played move. Knight to f6. Bishop to f4. And now c5. White to move. e3 is the standard move in this position. But there was a surprise. So early in the game, white played e4. What opening is this? Hmm? This is Morris Gambit. Player with black pieces was not familiar with the position. So he had to think very hard early in the game. Not a good news, is it? Knight takes on e4. What else? d takes on e4 is possible, then d5. This is Albin counter gambit reversed. What is Albin counter gambit? When white plays d4, black plays d5, c4 queen's gambit, and now e5, Albin counter gambit. Pawn takes pawn, d4. So what we have in our game is this position reversed and white has an extra move to our game. This is the game. White did not take on e4 with the pawn. He captured with the knight. Knight takes on e4. D takes on e4. D5. Black to move. Black has done well so far. But he was not sure if he was doing well or not because he was not familiar with the position. Someone seeing Mexican defense first time. They don't know what to do. They just want to build a fence. Just kidding. Black to move. Knight to d7. Queen to b6 would be a good move. And after b3, black can play bishop to f5, g6, or even queen to f6, attacking the bishop. But knight to d7 is not a bad move. Knight to d7, knight to e2, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, queen to d2, black to move. What would you do? Would you castle or would you defend the pawn on e4? Zinu Wang defended the pawn. Better was castling. And if white takes on e4, then bishop takes on b2. We have f5. Perhaps black counted on some quiet continuation, maybe bishop to e2. But Yevgeny Boguslavsky played the best move. Knight to b5, threatening knight to c7 check, winning the rook. Knight to e5, blocking the diagonal. White to move. This is now the critical position of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? The best move is d6. Black to move. This is now a critical position from black's point of view. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Would you castle or would you capture the pawn? This is very important. When you wang play with black pieces, considered pawn takes pawn. He didn't play that move. He just considered and didn't like the move because of knight takes on d6 check, king to f8 and black lost castling rights. So player with black pieces castled while he can counting on pawn takes pawn and then queen takes only seven and black is okay but this is not the move played in the game white played the winning move what would you do what is the winning move the winning move is bishop takes on e5 bishop takes bishop 
White played a move and Black resigned. The move is Queen to d5. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Rook to f7. Queen takes bishop immediately is possible. Perhaps bishop to c4 is even stronger. Wow, what a game! It is not a bad idea to play those less known lines, is it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.